Hey guys, this week on Project Talho, we're going to figure out exactly what the hell is going on behind this so that I can finish putting it all together. In this episode, we'll finish the body drop down and get it fully installed here in this rear corner. We'll get that front cap completely installed and we'll get this rear cap totally cut, prepped, and tacked in place. I'd love it if you guys stuck around in the shop for a while and watched me stumble my way through figuring out how all these pieces should fit together. Alright guys, so we are out here just working on this fender well. Doing the grunge work that's just got to be done. So I've been out here for a few minutes. Just starting to weld my way along that seam. So as you can see, I've burned through a few times and I'm just going to be going back and patching those up. But I'm just working my way around. There's not really a whole ton of room for me to be in there and the camera to be in there. And it's not all that interesting anyway. It's a row of tacks, then move along and tack some more. So I'm just going to keep working on this. And I'll bring you back when I've got some more of this all welded up. Well, I don't think I've been at this quite three hours, but it's definitely more than two hours that I've been at this. But the wheel well is completely welded in over here now. I decided to just go for it get it installed, it's ready to go, all of that is done. So, giving you another look all along there is all welded. I ground it back just a little bit. My intent is to clean it all back like just wire brush it clean and then I will seam seal that and that will be all I'm doing there. I will seam seal this. There's also an edge up in here. If you guys can see it, I can't really tell, sorry. But along here, wait, let's see. Yep, there, along here, that will get coated with seam seal. And then I've gone through and also done plug welds and ground those back where all the spot welds were and added new spot welds where there weren't any. So about the only thing I have left to do on the pieces that are already ready to go, I just need to cut this out and then decide if there's anything else or I can consider installing the, the panel that seals all of that off in there. But I don't know if I'm there yet. I've still got some work to go on the interior to get the panel that fills in that opening all put in. Maybe actually it's time to install that panel right there. That panel is the drop down, the body drop down. So it might be time to get that installed.
so what have we gotten done here? You saw me just doing some more prep work to this, which is the floor pan that will go in that corner. The row of holes down the center here should line up with those ground clean spots to weld the floor pan to the body drop down. And then the holes along the back there will weld to the body out there, tying all of that together. And then I installed the body drop down completely. You saw I just had to kind of throw a patch in this corner and really it's kind of crappy. I'm going to have to get in there with a finger sander, clean that up a little bit and then seam seal the crap out of it. I also think I may need to put a flange like flat piece sticking out this way in here to make sure I've got it high enough and I can weld down to it to seal against the floor pan in some fashion. It may not be perfect, but I think it will be better than what I have. Although there may be something else I'm going to do instead. I've thought about boxing in this tube here. You can see the flange down there. Boxing all of that in, and if I do that, that will seal that up as well. But I'm not sure if that's going to be viable. I don't know if I even have the space to get in there to do that, so... But we've got that all installed. Looking at it from down here, you can see these big, fat, ugly welds. I really, truly, massively suck at rosette welding. So, yeah, that's a thing. I'm trying to get better, and I think I'm getting a little bit better, but the space in here was pretty tight. I'm going to have to grind these all down. And probably go back and touch them up, which is something I have to do basically every rosette weld I make. I have to grind it down and then go back and backfill some. And then you can see in here, this will all be basically boxed in more or less. Because the floor pan is going to cover up there. And then there will be a panel that comes down from the wheel well here all the way to the bottom. Clamping that, the fender flange to the drop down, really straightened out that edge, so it looks pretty nice. But there's still a couple other touch-ups I have to do. I have to cut it off. I left it long just so I could cut it along the flange and call it good. And then back here, that corner does not match up. So I'm going to have to kind of cut that corner and tap it in a little bit, get everything to line up. And then we'll weld that. Excuse me. I don't know what's going on, but man, I am super stuffy today. Next up, I'm going to go ahead, get this flange and that back corner taken care of. Sorry, I had to move you guys, you were in the way. I hammered some of this over. There's actually a small gap up here. That I'm just gonna have to cut this little section out so I can fix this gap and then put that back in.
That's not working. I think I'm gonna have to take this panel out. Fix that. I can finish hammering this flange over and then put it back in. So I blew some paint in all of this on the back of this panel just to make sure uh, I had everything coated because I had failed to do that so far. So those are in slightly better shape. Got to clean this down again and then we will be ready for the install. Well, I think I've told you guys a couple of times it's pretty tight in here. So uh, I keep hitting the camera and knocking it over. Well, there's the finished, well, not quite finished. There's the mostly welded in finish panel in there. And if I'm being honest, that was kind of crap. Like, the whole install wasn't really very good. I think I was rushing it. I just, I wasn't, I don't know. I'm not all that happy with it. I had to cut out this piece that was here and then weld in a new piece to wrap all the way around the side get that all welded in this panel ended up pushed back quite a bit farther so where you see all this extra weld right above my finger here I actually had to kind of slip some metal in and weld it in place to fill a larger hole than I thought was going to be there it just yeah it was not overly impressive at this point. But it is as done as it's going to get for the moment. So all of these welds will get seam sealed and then this whole thing is going to get uh, rock guarded, just massively undercoated to seal it all up completely from the water. Back in here, around the edge here, dang it. Back in around this edge here, still has not been welded. I'm going to have to kind of hammer on that and weld it in, but I don't really think I'm going to be able to get back here very successfully. Uh, until I have this thing up in the air. If I'm more directly under it, I think I'll be able to see what's going on better around this corner to get back in here. And that will help me be able to cut that, or to cut that, to weld that into place. So all this is all sealed up tight on this side now. It's all welded in. Which still leaves me with this piece over here. Ow. That I've got to figure out. I mean, the absolute most important thing is filling in the open space you can see here. Anything I do beyond that is probably just unnecessary at this point, I'm thinking. So what I will do is I will probably let the filler panel come all the way over to right here. So it'll, you know, be an extra inch and a half wide or so is all. And then it will just come straight down. It will come up this flange and then it will tip out so that it can weld to this. So it's going to be, I think, a little bit simpler than I've been planning. And then I can just rehang the factory piece of plastic that was here to keep stuff from chucking straight back off the tires. So that'll all be good. 
So I think I'm going to get to work on that one now. Well guys, I think that's where I'm calling it for this video. Up under here, we've got that end plate tacked in. It's folded in such a way that it'll seal that lip. I just maybe need to hammer that over a bit or grind it down a bit. Over here. We've got this all welded in. I left it long at the bottom so I can still figure out the rocker, but everything else is totally sealed up. So, once I finish the welding on this piece, and that's all fully welded in, then this wheel weld will be effectively finished. Yeah, there's still a couple of things. I've still got a weld down this turn in that I put in. So gotta weld down that, get that all get that all figured out and put together. But I'm gonna wait to do that, I think, until I can put the travel all up on a lift. Or I don't know. Something like that. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>